What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami, where strength is everything. Bringing strength to the modern day Vikings of everywhere on this planet. Um, I have my shirt on today. Weird. I must feel fat. I ate a bagel, so I feel disgusting. Um, some sweet tea. Uh, I got a lot of people uh, competing tomorrow, and by I mean I have a lot of people, I have a lot of friends and people that I train currently competing in the Pantheon Games here in Miami for all CrossFitians, and um, I guess it kind of reminded me or sparked in me uh, things that I go over uh, in my mind or things that I do pre-competition, and I mean uh, what I used to do before fights, what I used to do before rugby games, and what I've done before strongman and other competitions, um, and just little things uh, that really that really matter. Uh, or just topics in general, and I'm just gonna say them off the top of my head. I was gonna write them down, uh, but I got lazy, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, one of the things that I think is is very valuable um, is to not do anything different. Uh, if you have a particular uh, habit or or style or whatever, uh, do it. Uh, if you like to sleep in all day and watch uh, Gladiator, which is the best movie of all time, then you should do it. That's what I suggest. Um, then do it. If you like to have freaky sex all day and fucking go crazy in the next day, do it. Uh, if you eat a particular meal or whatever, then do it. Um, do these things so that you go in there with a peace of mind that's just, you know, you're calm and you're accepted. You haven't done anything different or weird. Don't eat any crazy foods. This is not a night to try a new restaurant. This is not a try a night to put on, to sleep on a different mattress. This is not a night to go out and, and Pick up that chick you've been trying to get. This is not the night for that kind of shit. Just relax. Um, stay at home. Stay with your family. And focus on yourself. Be a little selfish. Um, st Oof, I just ate fish. Um, that's what she said. And then um, just focus on those kind of things. So uh, that's probably the first one is just to keep in habit, stay in habit. Number two, um, I would think that you should really obviously be going over your movements tomorrow. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time, which I always watch no matter when it's on, along with Starship Troopers and Gladiator, uh, I'll mention Gladiator again, is uh, Cool Runnings. I fucking love that movie. Uh, but one of the best things you can see is that the driver is actually staying focused and, and just you know working the angles and the turns, and he stays the whole night going over his turns, going over his kind of stuff and his movements. Uh, and that's something that I, I really like to do uh, pre pre uh, pre competition is just go over the movements in my mind. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm trying to go here for you know ten reps. Um, remember, like what motions I have to do. Just grab it because in the moment of competition, you shouldn't be thinking. It's just fucking doing. It's your chance to perform. It's your chance to be a badass. If you're out there thinking about where to put your midi middle midi finger, put your middle finger. And how short your shorts are, you're a fucking idiot. You're not a competitor. You're you're a show off. You're taking you're not taking it seriously. When you're in action, you shouldn't be thinking, you should be doing. That's why you train. So those kind of things is a big deal. Just mentally going over the movements. Uh if you have a team sitting with your team talking about strategy, uh something like CrossFit and Strongman, it's a lot about strategy. It's about knowing what events are your strengths, when to save your energy, how many reps to do here kind of build your confidence up, etc. Uh, number three, I would definitely say is to sit back and kind of um, gather your thoughts, uh, believe in your training, and just sit back and look back of what you've done the last three, four, five months um, and really sit there and be like, you know, is this, you know, is this, is this a good thing? Have I done enough? And if you're a true competitor and you, you've been coached properly or you've been coaching yourself properly, you should hunker down and really believe in what you're doing. I I will sit back the day before competition and look back, you know, two, three, four, sometimes six, seven months and be like, you know, I've really, I've put in a lot of work. Um, I remember when I couldn't deadlift, you know, four or five at the beginning and then I got to this. I couldn't do the keg loads for this much and I got this many. Uh, and it builds confidence in me. It makes me believe in what I'm doing and makes me believe in myself and um, my training which is very important in my my coaches or in my team it makes me really just uh, go in there very positively and just fucking badass because you have to go there with an aggressive mentality um, I think I'm on number four 
On number four, I would say is just to really harness in on the nerves. And I think if if you take competition as seriously as I do, because I'm ridiculous, I take I think life is about competition. It's, it's I'm a, I am the fucking lion, so I am looking to take all forms of true competition very very seriously. Um, I need to accept that the nerves that I'm feeling, uh, mostly I feel them the day of. I almost don't really feel them the day before. Um, it's very real, and it's very good. Um, don't try to fight it, in my opinion. Uh, accept them, use them, uh, let them be a fuel source, um, and know that you know one day, if you're even lucky, you're going to be old and useless, and you'll never feel these feelings again. And you're just going to reminisce on what it is to have those bubbles in your stomach, those little dragon wings flapping around in there, and just that kind of feeling before battle, that feeling before proving yourself and all that shit uh, is sitting there. So actually, I'm getting fucking goosebumps right now talking about it, and I can't wait to compete in two weeks, but um, just think about those things. I hope this kind of helps anybody out there who's pre-competition right now and just kind of sitting there and just going through different things. Um, uh, I hope this kind of fucking pushes you start watching all your YouTube videos watch gladiator or 300 huge huge love it um, and get just get motivated so good luck to everybody competing tomorrow and Sunday as well I hope you motherfuckers fuck it up and of course I'm wearing my strongest fuck shirt of course I'm gonna be there sassy as all shit probably looking to instigate some stuff with my mohawk trimmed up so cheers good luck and um, go fuck shit up for Odin